Hey everyone, Jamie Phillips, Action Auto Parts. Uh, got out of the hospital Tuesday night and I came out yesterday and worked uh, a little bit, sold some stuff. I mean, I didn't work, I sat in a truck, uh, but the customers pulled their parts, trying to get back in the swing of things. Still don't feel the best. So, uh, hey, 256 Garage, I'm still pulling for those sympathy uh, likes and subs and carrying on. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. So, got Sammy on my mower. They came up the other night. I tell you what, really appreciated Anthony and Sammy. They mowed and at the house and other house and brought somebody with them to weed eat and wouldn't let me give them nothing and. Uh, Came out here and done a little bit of mowing uh, as well here at the farm. So she's worked yesterday and, and mowed some and, and what have you. And then today she's going to try to finish up and hopefully get some weed eating done, but at least get the mowing caught up and uh, get the flower beds weeded out. Uh, we've had some customers. I sold the, um, let me back up here. I think it's on this row. One guy came and got a couple Ford steel dually wheels off of the 99 f-350 and then a young man just come and got the tars and wheels and the rear bumper cover off this nissan murano and i got a guy says he's on his way to get a front bumper off of the 88 chevy silverado truck so that's uh that would be good but i got to look at something on this uh dodge charger I gotta get out and take a picture of something on it. And then the 79 Thunderbird, I got a guy wanting both bumpers and he wants a, bit, a little bit better picture. But uh, uh, did, had the heart cast done, but I did not have blockage per se. Uh, but it did put me on another heart medicine. And then I've got some scarring on my lungs, which I've never smoked, unless you count pot, and I'm just playing. Uh, but they said that could be from like pneumonia or whatever and that might be contributing to my shortness of breath. That and, I don't like this term, but morbidly obese. But uh, yeah, I do need to lose a few pounds. So uh, uh, I was in there for two days, bruised up big time. And you see, that's where they had to put a, a midline. They couldn't get an IV in me, so they had to go through the backside of my arm and everywhere they tried, it bruised me up and whatever. But. I guess that's the perils of getting older. But I'm going to get out and take a couple pictures here uh, and then head down front and check on Sammy uh, mowing because I've never let nobody really mow here like that. But uh, so far, so good. She's doing good. Uh, ain't hit nothing yet. But, uh, yeah, let's see what else we can get into. So I'm at the old homestead. Got my... A big man, Mr. Axel Foley Phillips, out here for his nightly constitutional, the last one of the evening. I was going to try to add on to the videos I took today at the junkyard. So get him in here just for a minute. And then once I get him back inside, I'll try to work on something else. And then I'm so thankful that my good friend's coming while I was down and out at the hospital and mowed the yard, got it weed eated and everything. And the little house next door over there that that we own to the little brick house. Bonus time. Axel's problem is, hey, he likes to smell too much and kind of lollygag a little bit. And these daggone little old black mosquitoes out in here will absolutely eat you up. Yeah, but they got the, the little house up there uh, mowed and weed-eated. Come on, son. It, it sounds blind to me over And I had a guy, I haven't even got to stop over and look at it, but he should have the upstairs, pretty much all the paint and everything tidied up. So... He gets caught up. I'm going to try to get him to come back and just finish out a few things in the basement. And then it's it's done. It's on the market. It's already listed. But, well, 
I still got to sand the living room floors, but what I'm saying, the paint and all the other stuff could be done on it. So there's all of that. Come on, son. Let's go. He gets out here. He, which he's a house dog. I understand when he gets out to outside, he likes to sometimes kind of take his time. But then there's some other times you bring him out and he hurries up and does his business. And he's ready to get back in there and hang out, and get his treats for being a good boy, don't you, son? Oh, Axel Foley Phillips. Hey, buddy, what brings you around at this late hour? And cry. Well, I got Axel back in the house and uh, thought I'd step outside. Man, I'm trying to get a little bit of walking, but I'm telling you what, I still, I get so out of breath that it's not even funny. And uh, I've got to get my, uh, call my family doctor tomorrow and get a referral over to uh, pulmonary, how do you call it, for lungs. I'm not a doctor, although I played one on TV. And uh, see what the, the scar tissue and stuff is and if that's affecting everything. There's the uh, 057 Ford. I've sold it to a good buddy of mine up in West Virginia. It and a 77 LTD2, it's out at the farm. And he's just been busy and hadn't come and got them yet, but they're paid for, so they're his. But I hate letting it go, but man, I have just got so many so much to do and then when you get down like this it kind of makes you realize some of that stuff's not as important as you think it was of course that's the wife's little corvette there i actually thought about putting the cables on this jimmy and moving it because i i moved it when we was working on a tree over here and i never did put it back the, the brake pedal was pretty uh stiff on it uh and uh, I'm sure the, the booster and stuff's got to be replaced because it's been off the road for a pretty good little bit. And today, excuse me, uh, Sammy's been helping me a little bit and getting the mowing and stuff caught up. And she loaded all these aluminum wheels, and I've got a little catalytic converter right there. It actually came off that little Pontiac Fiero that I had in the junkyard. And then I've got... Uh, these four over here that came off of a Ford truck and I was going to go sell them tomorrow but I uh, talked to my buddy that buys them and he uh, he said that he wouldn't be there tomorrow but he'd be there Saturday so uh, I'm going to try to get he opens like at 9 o'clock and I'm going to try to get over put some off or whatever this stuff is on my Legs, man, them little black mosquito things will eat you up. But anyway, I'm going to try to... I've got more converters. I just got to get them off. But uh, take those forward at one little one. And I didn't ask him, but last I talked to him, wheels were like $17 a piece. So I thought, well, that's what I had that didn't have tires on them. So I thought, well, since I had to close a few days and, and still moving kind of slow a, a little bit, it wouldn't hurt to make a few extra bucks. I don't know what that little Fiero cat will do. It, it might be one of those that'll surprise you. Who knows? And I haven't even had a chance to clean on my little Geo Metro. But it's on the porch kind of out of the weather. So I guess that's kind of a, a good thing. Until I can. But uh, hopefully I'll get to feeling better here pretty quick. Where I can try to... And it's not so overbearingly hot that I can't come in now and try to get out here and piddle a little bit. So we just had to wait and see what happens there. But I like it little car. I mean, it's, they've kind of, you get on some of those Geo Metro sites, they're kind of a little pricey than what you think. Of course, I'm sure some of theirs is a little bit better shape than mine, but you know, hey, it is what it is. Uh, so I guess, I'm going to probably head back into the house. Like the time I walked him, I took him back inside, man. I'm done.
I'm doing kind of out of breath. I, like I said, I wanted to thought about moving that little jimmy and bringing it back over here and parking it out of the way. And I may do that. I may pop the hood and twist the cables on it and see if it'll fire up. I haven't haven't had it started in a bit. Yeah, April of 20 was the last year that it was on the road. But, you know, I'd like to get that building moved to the farm, get it wrapped in metal, and probably make a chicken house out of that, and then come off and make a, a pretty good size uh, little fence stand thing for them. Because my old red mama hen, she got killed the other night, something caught her, which a guy said he's seen three dogs up there. And I know there's normally four dogs, but he said he's seen three of them. And he's seen the red hen just shortly before uh, he's seen the dogs. And then the next morning she was, she'd been killed. So uh, them dogs have been there a few times and I've always ran them off. And I hate to shoot somebody's dogs, but they don't even live on this road. They actually live, every time I run them off, they go down through the woods and they live a couple miles from here. So if they're the one that come up there and kill my red hen, then I may have to, May have to take a shot at them. I hate to, but I don't like losing my chickens over just something like that. But anyway, I like to get that moved and then get my old red Tahoe out to the junkyard, that old Corvair van, and a couple more here. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop this hood up. I think I still got a, a battery on this thing. And uh, yeah, well, it's still it's still hooked up. So I guess we'll see if it'll. If it'll start, I thought I had unhooked the cables because these old vehicles where they've been sitting, and then if there's a little bit of a short or something, of course, the worst case scenario, they'd be catching on fire. But the other part of the scenario would be it would run the battery down. So I guess we'll we'll see right quick. And the battery's dead. That's what I get. All right, well, I didn't hardly much feel like messing with it anyway, so. Uh, I can never get old Bonnie Rose back running and Phoenix detailing her. I planned on taking this one in the garage and working on it some, and of course, the little red car, and so on and so forth and what have you. But uh, hope you all are having a great one or had a great one today. It's uh, been getting up, I don't know, seven maybe close to 7.30 here in Central Kentucky. But y'all have a great one. Please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.